Hey y'all, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'd like to share about why we live in an RV and how we got to this point in our lives. So come on in and let's get started. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Ever since we were little, we've both loved to travel. Going on family vacations as a kid are still some of my best childhood memories, hands down. It was those childhood trips that sparked the love of travel in both of us. In high school, I developed an interest in filmmaking, which included a lot of traveling to different sets, and it soon became my full-time career. Cut to when we met in the summer of 2015. We were working on the same film set, and over the course of the shoot, we started to really like each other. <laughs> Uh, we started dating almost as soon as the shoot ended and pretty much knew instantly that we were meant to be together. One of the things that we both agreed on was that we didn't want to live a 9 to 5 life. We both loved adventure and we wanted to travel as much as possible. We got married in September 2016 and the first year of our marriage was literally the most stressful time of my entire life. Uh, we were living in Atlanta but we were almost never home. We were constantly on the road staying in hotels and eating fast food. We were living our travel dreams, but as we soon realized, we could not live that way forever. If we were gonna keep up our nomadic lifestyle, we needed a living situation that allowed us to be at home wherever we were. In April of 2017, we decided to take a spontaneous road trip out west in our Prius. Three weeks of nothing but exploring the most beautiful parts of the US and sleeping in our car. We truly enjoyed the spontaneity and joy that we felt on that trip, and little did we know it was just pushing us closer to buying our home on wheels. After that first year of marriage, we realized that our current living situation just wasn't going to work. We were renting a house at the time, and we felt this pressure that we needed to fill it up with stuff just to be considered normal. Around this time, we saw The Minimalist Documentary, a film that really gave us a new perspective on how to live day to day. To sum it up, it talks about the minimalist movement and how it started and how our culture is so obsessed with needing more stuff. The whole movement just fascinated us and really resonated with our desire to live simply. After watching the documentary, we had many conversations about where to go from there. I knew that I wanted to keep working in film, but Meg was getting really tired of living in hotels and only being home a few weeks of the year. Yeah. So we basically got to this point where it was like we either need to settle down and get normal jobs or live on the road, keep working on films, and travel. Like Timothy was saying, he was not super excited about living in an RV just because it is pretty small and we honestly didn't know anything about RV life at the time. Even though I was hesitant at first, I eventually was willing to try out RV life. And so we started looking on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to see what we could find. To be honest, this was the most difficult part of the whole process for us. There are so many things to consider when buying an RV or a fifth wheel, which we will definitely go over in a separate video. But anyways, we decided up front that we would rather pay a little bit more for a rig that was mechanically sound and in good condition, rather than buying one for $1,000 that was a complete mess. We found one that was in our price range, so we went to go look at it. Almost immediately we noticed how cramped and small it was. There were no slides and it was really short, and the shower was in the middle of the hall and the layout was just weird. Obviously, we didn't end up buying that RV. We realized after looking at it that we needed a motorhome that had slide outs and more space. But we didn't feel like we wasted our time in looking at that first one because it really helped us to figure out what we didn't want in an RV. So if you're not sure if this lifestyle is for you, I would encourage you to just go and look and get a feel for the amount of space you would have and what you even want. So after we looked at that first RV, we were feeling a little bit discouraged. We started questioning if this lifestyle would be good for us, but we continued to look, and eventually Meg came across one that looked really good. I was literally searching non-stop for an RV that had everything we were looking for and that was in our price range, which was a lot more difficult than it sounds. Throughout the whole searching process, I learned something that actually ended up being the reason we found the RV that we ended up with, and that is, don't be afraid to search outside of where you live. Try searching a few hours or more away from you in all directions, especially if you're like us and you're super picky about what you want. Our motorhome was owned by someone a few hours away from where we live, 
so we're super thankful that we decided to look outside of our area. When Meg showed me the RV that she found, I was really excited about it. But like she said, it was a few hours away and it was slightly more than we were hoping to spend, but we knew it would be worth it if we found a motorhome that we really loved. So we decided to go look at it. I pretty much knew from the moment I saw this RV that it was everything that we wanted. It had slide outs and from what I could tell it was in great condition, it just needed some cosmetic updates inside. So we headed out to look at it and from the second we walked inside I knew that was it. We did a thorough inspection of the whole thing and tested everything out to make sure it all worked. All the while I was just praying so hard that nothing would be wrong with it because I already loved it. If you guys are interested, we can cover everything that we inspected and tested before buying the RV in another video. So let us know in the comments below if that's something you guys would like for us to film. And the rest is history. We bought our 2000 Damon Intruder on the same day and spent over a month renovating the interior to be exactly what we wanted. So that's it folks. That's how we ended up in an RV. If you have any questions about buying an RV, make sure to leave them below and we'll be happy to answer them in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to us if you'd give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. As soon as you're done getting orange all on your teeth, you need to drink some water. Right, you, uh, I'm uh, doing uh, ASMR! I'm, I'm all for being silly, but I, I'd like to get this over with. Okay. <laughs>